Good morning everyone, this is Ashok Prash. So in this video, we are going to discuss about two things. One is uh, chiller lift, another one is chiller search. Okay. So if you are uh, uh, part of attracting or you are maintaining a uh, uh, water cooled chiller, specifically for centrifugal chiller, definitely you heard about this two things, chiller search and chiller lift. Okay. So chiller lift is nothing but is a differential pressure. I mean, it is a head pressure. So head pressure, we, 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 we denote this as a head pressure. So chiller lift is, is uh, somebody will come and ask define chiller lift. Okay, so definitely you can uh, explain in, in this way like uh, a chiller lift is, a, uh, is a chiller lift is defined as difference in pressure between refrigerant in the condenser and refrigerant in the evaporator. See, actually, uh, uh, you know, in any uh, refrigeration cycle that uh, refrigerant in the form of uh, vapor or in the form of liquid or in the form of liquid plus vapor uh, the refrigerant will flow from compressor condenser and again expansion valve evaporator the, the cycle it's uh, repeating again and again okay so the lift is nothing but for example in evaporator uh, the the pressure in the uh, the pressure in the, uh, the pressure of the uh, refrigerator and the pressure of the condenser between pressure of the refrigerant uh, pressure of the refrigerant in the condenser or pressure of the uh, refrigerant in the evaporator the difference between these two we denoting as a chiller lift for example okay so my manufacturer my chiller manufacturer is uh, uh, declaring that uh, 4 kPa the pressure will be maintaining uh, in the evaporator side I mean low pressure side, this is the low pressure side, this is the high pressure side, you know, you know about the refrigeration cycle and uh, at uh, condenser side is a 10 bar, 10 k, uh, k, p, a kilo pascal, 10 bar, okay, the pressure, pressure of the refrigerant, so different between these two, 10 minus uh, 4 is 6 bar, right, the 6 bar is the differential, uh, I mean head pressure of the uh, compressor, the 6 bar is the maximum lift of the uh, chiller or maximum lift of the compressor, right? So clear. So this is the chiller lift. So if you, uh, the people may ask, can be related the uh, lift of the chiller, chiller lift in in terms of the temperature? So yes, of course you can relate. So chiller lift can also be defined as difference in temperature difference in temperature uh, between hot water leaving from your uh, condenser and cold water leaving from your system so that is also is a chiller lift okay so chiller lift in terms of pressure in terms of uh, temperature also we can define okay so See, for example, if uh, the if if my manufacturer is declaring that is uh, four, uh, I mean six bar is the maximum lift of the chiller. Okay, in some cases at a, a, a condenser side, the pressure of the defined pressure. See, the the pressure, the pressure of the refrigerant. Okay, is is reaching the uh, its limit. Like uh, uh, we def uh, the the manufacturer defined as ten bar is the maximum. Pressure of the refrigerant at any at a, at a hundred percent of the your compressor load, but it is exceeding more than this ten bar. Like assume that it is a fifteen bar. Okay, so what will happen? What is this scenario? What we call this scenario? This is the maximum lift condition. So whenever the the your uh, pr uh, uh, refrigerant pressure in the condenser is breaching the uh, your defined value, that scenario is called was uh, that scenario we called as the maximum lift condition whether the this scenario is happen at the high uh, in the uh, high high pressure side i mean high side or otherwise this scenario is happen at the low side however the difference between these two should not exceed the your uh, maximum lift so even if if your difference between uh, these two it exceeding the maximum um, lift of the your uh, maximum lift of the chiller we call it as high lift condition so the uh, general practice is that all the chiller uh, to be maintained within the low lift condition the low lift condition means the chiller is uh, i mean your compressor 
is doing a very less work with the more most efficient way so if we were compressor doing the less work it means that uh, it will consume uh, less energy so as a result you will get the energy saving compared with the if you are running the chiller in the high lift condition okay so any hvac technician any hvac manager any hvac engineer so always uh, uh, planning to uh, run the chiller uh, specifically for centrifugal chiller in the low lift condition only okay for example this scenario that the maximum lift of the uh, chiller is exceeding the defined value okay so that scenario b that scenario is creating the chiller surge so how it is creating the chiller surge i will let you know okay so you will know the function of the uh, i mean the compressor what what's doing in the refrigeration cycle what is the function of the compressor you know so low uh, pressure low temperature uh, saturated vapor it is getting compressed and is converted into the high pressure high temperature uh, superheated vapor right that superheated vapor is going uh, to the uh, reaching to the uh, condenser that vapor it is getting condensed with the help of the uh, the water which we subverted in the cooling tower that condensed water is getting converted into the liquid so vapor to liquid here the phase change is happening right vapor to liquid okay that vapor to liquid again the refrigerant liquid again it is going to the expansion valve and that the refrigerant is getting expanding and uh, the low pressure and low temperature liquid as well as uh, uh, vapor mixture and it is uh, coming to the evaporator and that evaporator is uh, what uh, the evaporator is again it is converting into the low pressure low temperature saturated vapor see here the the building heat see uh, the what are the uh, your load your heat load okay it is the the heat load is getting absorbed by this refrigerant here the refrigerant is absorbing the building heat and it is getting getting rejected into the atmosphere with the help of the condenser your cooling tower okay so heat is absorbing here your heat load is absorbing by the refrigerant by here and it is rejecting by the uh, refrigerant through this uh, chilled water line uh, with the help of the uh, cooling tower the cooling tower here you are uh, seeing is the induced uh, draft cooling tower there are uh, many number of cooling towers there in the market so uh, regarding this we will be, we will discuss in uh, next section okay so coming into the topic that uh, chiller surge okay so here i told here the vapor is getting converted into the liquid right in case the vapor is not getting converted in in, in the form of liquid in the proper way what will happen okay so the pressure in the condenser uh, is getting increased more than the defined pressure so uh, 10 10 bar is the limit okay for for our example for our cases 10 bar is the limit but the pressure of the condenser is getting increased more than 10 bar so uh, why because the, the 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 vapor is not getting condensed when the vapor it is not getting cooled uh, and it is not converting into the liquid form as a refrigerant okay liquid refrigerant so what will happen the the, the compressor is always always uh, uh, converting low pressure uh, low temperature uh, saturated vapor and it is it is always uh, converting into the high pressure high temperature vapor and it is keep on sending into the condenser but the condenser is not functioning what will happen till uh, sometimes it, it it will try to uh, hold the vapor okay and after that there is no space uh, to uh, allow the uh, uh, refrigerant vapor again in the condenser and what will happen uh, the, the pressure the, due to the pressure more pressure the refrigerant is uh, i mean the vapor refrigerant is getting uh, back out to the your compressor or it is getting reversed to the your compressor this scenario will create the surge that surge that chiller surge can be easily identified with the uh, with the huge sound whenever the your the chiller is uh, forcing into the uh, chiller surge definitely that time if you have noticed the chiller running condition definitely you will hear the abnormal condition the sound will come different sound will come so that that scenario is because of your uh, condenser is not functioning properly it is not getting condensed your uh, i mean uh, the uh, refrigerant vapor is not getting uh, condensed in the, uh, to the liquid okay these are the 
causes and the people will ask why the vapor is not getting condensed uh, to the liquid so what will happen why what scenario is creating the silver surge yes so the chances are the cooling tower may be switched off the cooling tower is not uh, properly running so the function will not happen the vapor to uh, liquid uh, phase change will not happen or otherwise the mac of water which we are uh, uh, pouring into the cooling tower due to the evaporation loss or drip loss whatever it is so if you are not topping up of the water also the function of the, this uh, uh, condensation will not uh, will not happen very properly and also uh, the temperature of the uh, water is increased due to uh, several uh, respect like uh, there may be a lot of wall in the uh, output of the cooling tower so there is choked between uh, uh, that uh, the wall is getting not uh, opened properly so it scenario also it will create the flow will not will not be there then the temperature obviously will get increased right so due to that also the the vapor to liquid uh, phase change will not happen in the condenser so these are the scenario will create the chill, chiller search right okay so uh, so from this video definitely you will you understand uh, uh, what is uh, chiller lift what is chiller search and what are the what are the things which is grading the chiller search so definitely you you understand uh, uh, you you understand from this video uh, I, I hope uh, this video is very useful to you and if you are uh, uh, feel the same things and please do uh, subscribe our channel and react with uh, like or even if you are disliking this video yeah please react with the dislike button and if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box we will try to address it as soon as possible and uh, this section is not uh, much clear you are not getting understand it, and you want to know the same video you want to understand the same concept in your own language like tamil or otherwise hindi so please uh, 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 go to engineers view channel search engineers view in the youtube so our video will get uh, uh, appear on the uh, youtube page okay the same topic you can see uh, in your own language if you are not understand this section okay so uh, thank you we will uh, uh, discuss uh, we will come back with another good section uh, another good topic uh, very soon okay bye